Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek and Emmy Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to post status updates to Facebook. Now, already in my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Facebook Post for the purpose of this tutorial. Now, what we're going to do is basically able, in, enable us to post status updates or maybe scores or little bits of text or any information within your app straight to Facebook. And how you do that, we use the feature that our devices already have, that you can already log into your account within the settings. And once you're logged into your account in the settings, you're able to uh, kind of use apps and stuff to, with, uh, with Facebook on the social platform. So in here, we're going to take advantage of it, and um, as your account's already logged in, we won't need to require any additional information from Facebook itself. It's very simple, and you can use that to um, paste um, post Going to update straight to your Facebook profiles. So all you really need to do is import two frameworks. So we go to our build phases and we need to import, if you click on link binary with libraries, press a little, press a little plus symbol, we need to import our social framework and click it once more and our account. Now these will enable us to gather the information from our already logged in Facebook account and the social framework and kind of combine the two together to uh, use the Facebook platform to post status updates. So what we need to do now is go to our view controller.h and we need to kind of inform our view controller that and make it aware of these exist so we can use them. So under the uh, UI kit there we need to do hash import and you want the one with the more than and less than symbol and we just type in social so we get the social forward slash social dot h and repeat the process again and this time we want our accounts there we go now once we've done that we go to our view controller UI view controller here do a space bracket and press enter now we need to create our composer sheet our uh, sl composer view controller sheet there so we do sl uh, compose view controller there we go and do space asterisk and we simply name it my SL Composer uh, Sheet. Nice and simple to understand when we come to the coding. And then once we've done that, just under the bracket there, we need to add our button that will allow us to uh, use, to interact with the social network so we can post to our uh, profile. So we do dash bracket IB action and we name it post to Facebook, nice and simple. End that with a semicolon, and then once that's done, we simply copy it as it will save us a little bit of time when we come to our view controller.m. So, yes, yeah, simply click on our view controller.m, and at the bottom here, on the last, the, underneath the last bracket, we're going to post in our button, do space bracket and enter. Now, just space it out so you can clearly see what we're typing. We're going to type in my compose, uh, my SL compose sheet space equals space bracket bracket sl compose sheet view controller and then we need to allocate it after that bracket there we do init and then that array bracket and a semicolon then we need to re kind of repeat the process again but we do uh, my sl composer sheet again space equals space bracket sl compose view controller once more now we need to do compose view controller for service type and in this section here, we're going to put the type of uh, social network as such in here for which we want to post it. And as we do for Facebook, we need to do SL service type. And you've got some sections here. We got, so we can do, as we do in Facebook, we simply select Facebook. And then we end that with a bracket and a semicolon. And just simply hit enter. And now we do bracket my SL composer sheet once more. And we need to do is set initial text. And in the highlighted section here, we do at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and that a bracket and a semicolon. We can come back to that just in a second. For now, we just finish up the rest of the coding. Do a bracket self, and then we need to do present a view controller here. And then we do this section here, we need to do our my SL composer sheet. Animated section, we do yes, as you want it animated, and a completion, we do no. And that a bracket and a semicolon. Okay then, so that's simply all the coding that's needed there. Now we come back to this little section here, the highlighted section. 
in the set initial text here you can either leave it blank or you can add some preset text that you want it to kind of have when you go to write a status so if I just put, simply put a hello this is text so when we come to press our button this kind of little section here the little where we put there hello this is text will already be preset into our little section where we write our status updates so you can even leave that blank or you could add some sets, some URLs for people to share it. It's entirely up to you what you add there. So once we've done that, we need to go to our main storyboard, and then we need to, I'll just make it a little bit bigger so you can see, and we need to find a button and simply drag it in. Once that's in there, we're just going to center it there and simply give it a name, post to Facebook. Nice and easy and simple. Now we need to click on here our view controller, or right at the bottom of our little view here. And make sure you're on the ins um, connections inspector tab at the very end. And at the bottom here, we've got received actions. Got our post to Facebook action there. And simply um, right click and drag, or just click and drag over to our button, and select the simple action there, such as touch up inside. So that's simply all you needed to do there. So if you go to build and run on our simulator, and um, we can see it working in all its glory. Okay, and now once it's loaded, you can see our button's in the center here where we set it. And as I'm already logged into my Facebook account, already in the settings on my simulator, once I press post to Facebook, it comes up now, our section here, we've got a little keyboard here, we can add more text. But we already had our preset text already, hello, this is text. And it gives us a few more options we can do, we can change the audience in which it displays to, whether we just want it our friends or our you know certain groups that we have on Facebook and we can have you know the option here to add our location so anywhere we're near or any landmark we're at or just simply let people know where you are so some pretty useful features there and some standard ones in our Facebook post and then once we hit post everything we selected here will post straight to our Facebook and update as a status so we can choose to cancel it and it will go away so yeah, it's a really useful tip if you want to share like high scores or scores in your apps, or if you want users to share some of the content, or even you know get them to share the app so more people can see it and download it. It's a very useful tip to have in your applications, and I hope it does help in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Uh, make sure you like and favorite the video as it really does help us out. And uh, make sure you go check out all our apps which are currently in the App Store. Just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. And uh, yeah, if you want to leave us a comment or send us a message, if you want to suggest any tutorial yourself or any questions you want to ask, we'll be gladly there to help you out. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got a little more pinky. I got a little more. No, it's not my pinky. I got a little more finger.